So we have just learned how to do the installation of MariaDB, how to uh, make it secure by running the secure installation script, and then we have learned how to create database tables and all other stuff, and using the select statement also to query the database. But by default, we are using the root user because we are accessing it root. The so root has the full access on all of the databases. But this might not be the real case. I might be needing where the users will have much more restricted rights. So, how can I create users? This is the second objective. And how can I assign them specific permissions or grants? So, this is what we are going to see in this section of MariaDB. So, number one, as I had logged in with root, or if I do an exit here, and I again hit myself with root, sorry, password is wrong. So I am with root access, and I can very like uh, to see that how what particular permissions are allowed to me, I can simply give the command show grants. So this shows the permissions to the user, the current user, which is right. So let's see how can I create a user. So it's very simple stuff. You just need to give create user at any point of time you need help. It might be the case while you are giving the exam or you are working. You might forget the commands. Just write help and press enter here. It will show you the uh, help from the your uh, client perspective. And you can see there for server side help, type help and content. So if I type here help contents. It will show me the sections, the categories. So if I intend to create the user account, that means I am doing something, trying to do something in account management. So I can simply give here help account management. So now you will find, sorry, you will see all the uh, like M A N A G E M E N T. You will see all the commands related to the account management create user I got the command that's great so now I, I can simply give help create user this will show me the syntax how to create the user and everything with current example see here to create user Jeffrey at the rate low local host identified by the password so everything is will be normally you will find the commands and all the things here so you need to play smart just remember this help content that's it press enter sorry contents and then any section let's suppose you want to see say administration command right to so copy this I can simply give here help administration press enter so all the commands show grants show errors show databases create view so you will see all the things here so if I can give here show Say I'll I'll give you a show create table. So if I give you a show create table, sorry, help, sorry, you will see here, you will get a idea of. So this is the table which is there. ID default sample will be given to you. So which is fine. So let's create a user account. Our first task. Let me create one user here. Create user. Say addy at localhost identified by Red Hat. And now I'm giving him the permission. So I give grant select on network nuts dot asterisk means he can use the select query on network nuts database to I give here eddy at localhost so if I give here command show grants for eddy at localhost you will see here that the select is given to eddy in the same manner I have one more user which is Adi I'll show it to you. So Adi has got create, whereas Adi has got select. 
so I have these two users so I, so that means if I try to log in with uh, Eddie I won't be allowed to uh, do any changes but if I log in with Adi I should be allowed to create tables or anything in the network nuts database so let's try this So I exit from here. I just do a login with Adi Red Hat. So I'm logged in with Adi. You can simply give the command show grants, which will show you the grants for the current user. So here you have see it has got a create right. So you can give the command show databases. So see here the network nuts is appearing here. You can go to use network nuts database change you can give show tables employee so he can create a table which he is allowed so I can simply give a command here to create one more table so he is allowed to create the table or I can add a value here also So let me see if he is allowed to create a table here or not, so which I think he should be allowed because as you can see there, he is given the uh, your right right. So in the meanwhile, if I try to exit from here and if I try to log in with Eddie, so I am allowed to log in with Eddie also and if I give show grants, so he has got only select. So that means he is allowed to view the data but he is not allowed to modify it so let's try with Eddie first so he gives show databases okay he go to use network nuts that's great he can give show tables and he can give select star from employee he is allowed he can change it so can but is he allowed to do the changes so he let's suppose he's trying to uh, update the location of rn so if he gives the command update address set i can say sorry update employee the table name i can give set address is equal to say Agra or anything say Jaipur so he is trying to change New Jersey to Jaipur Jaipur where imp id equal to 2 right so he is trying to do this denied why why denied because if I give a show grants he has got only select rights he cannot modify this which is good so now I exit from here I try to log in with Adi so Adi has got write rights so if I give the command show grants he has got create so that means he can create a table say create so if when I had given the command show grants I can see that he has got to create rights on network nuts and he is inside the network nuts database now so he can if he tries to give this command create table say test any name will do and then say anything say item number right I can give a integer value anything int and then I say name I give care or where care can do Say 20 is a size and I try to close this a table is created show table see here this is why because he has got the right rights he can create the things so in this manner you should be able to create users and assign him different permissions so this is a very important topic a small uh, one like a small session but is very important and now in the next session we 
we will see how to do the backup and restore of the MariaDB database. So that is coming in the next session of MariaDB.